In this video, we're going to create a curriculum taxonomy for an open textbook. And we're going to be using the Drupal content management system. Um, you can see that I am already logged in. And um, you'll, there are two horizontal black and gray strips that run across the top of the screen. So uh, for this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at the one called structure. Once inside the administration structure screen, we want to scroll down and look for taxonomy. Click on taxonomy. And now we can see the existing vocabulary that exists within this particular instance of uh, the Drupal CMS. Um, this one is already being used as a open textbook repository and therefore you can see that the curriculum item already exists in this particular setup. It's quite possible that in your clean installation you don't have any vocabulary, no taxonomy categories. Um, so we would have to start from scratch. And to do that, we would click on the Add Vocabulary hyperlink. I've gone and named my vocabulary CSEC Mathematics Statements. Um, you can put in a description if you want, um, but uh, keep the menu location item um, as is because this will allow the um, vocabulary to be at the highest level in the root. You can see in this particular installation there's been quite a lot of work already identifying the different subcategories of the taxonomy. Once you're happy though, scroll down and click Save. We've returned back to the vocabulary grid um, and now we can go and look for our new vocabulary category. There it is, CSEC Mathematics Statements. Now it's time to load in the actual term. So we're going to push the Add Terms button. So now we can identify these subcategories. Um, in the name field, I've added computation. If I scroll down, I can now look at the relationships between this one and the others. You can see that uh, is this part of the root, which is the mathematics textbook, or should it be part of algebra, consumer, arithmetic, number theory, uh, and so on? Well, in this case, um, uh, those items I had created earlier, so this one should be equal to algebra, consumer, arithmetic, and so on. So it should be at the root. If you want, you can order them by weighting them. Um, the higher the number, um, the lower it is in the list. And then you can say save. We repeat this process and slowly build up the categories that will make up the CSEC mathematics statements vocabulary. Uh, on the screen at the moment, you can see that we already have five. I now want to add in the first specific objective for the topic computation. So um, there is no way now to drill in. I have to add the term and then show its relationship in terms of the tree. So I'm going to push in add terms. This particular one is for um, computation. It is the first of the specific objectives. And um, now I scroll down, go to the relations and say that this needs to be part of computation. I might start getting confused as I get more and more. So I'm going to put in a little code just to help me. This is SO specific objective one. And then I've got the, what the objective is. Now I can say um, save. And what we should see is that this is now a subsection of computation. As we progress and put in more specific objectives, so we begin to build the curriculum structure. 
and now when you look at the vocabulary grid you can see computation is beginning to have its own specific objectives aligned to it now these will be important later when we um, uh, include the csec mathematics statements vocabulary as one of the um, metadata sets that we want to tag items to